Hey, everybody. It's Bill from MattTracker.com, and welcome to this episode of Behind the Mask. Before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. That helps us grow and keeps these videos going along. I'm hoping that we'll have some new videos coming soon from our other collaborators. But in the meantime, feel free to look at my face, vomit if you want to, um, and let's take it from there. <laughs> so... I've talked about the split seconds line before, and Dave and I are going to review them soon. Um, I'm trying to get back into a routine of doing some of these myself after some illnesses that kind of popped up and just life itself. So I apologize about that. Uh, but I'm having fun doing them again. Uh, and it just it's just really nice to know that you can complete a set but not actually really spend a ton of money on it. And today we're going to review Wolf Beast. Now it's one of the stranger entries of the mask line itself, let alone the split seconds line. There are elements that I like and there are elements that I definitely do not like. And if I had this when I was a kid, who this, this definitely would not have survived Hurricane Sandy. I'll tell you that much. Um, wow. Where to start? <clears throat> so um, let's start with the, the figures real quick. A Miles Mayhem and his clone. Now, as always, I'm going to post the images up here so you can see them a little bit better so you're not doing this. Here, look. Look at that. Look. I've learned. Gotten better. Um, so right now, I have them both in my hand, and they suck. The vehicle is called Wolf Beast. It's got like a, a pick on the front. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like some kind of really cool looking wolf skull. I'm looking at it now, it looks like a tick, and I'll, I'll point that out a little bit here. But the, the clone, I just kind of like, here, I mean, he's the clone. So this is Miles Mayhem's vehicle. And he's got a bug outfit. So maybe it is a tick. Why is it called Wolf Beast? This is why I really want to talk to some of the people from Kenner because some of these things are so strange that they have to have a really interesting backstory to them. And I would love to hear it. Hopefully one day I will. Uh, anybody that worked at Kenner that worked on this line, even if you're just working on packaging or heard stories about some of these things, feel free to reach out. Uh, I just want to hear about time spent and just tell you how appreciative I am of the fact that what you did has brought me this much joy. I'm almost 40 years old and um, really am appreciative of it. But again, it's a very strange departure for Miles Mayhem. I'm gonna put some other Miles Mayhem figures up here in a second. Let me get rid of the clone first. There, there, you, there you go. Okay, and bring them up. All right, so look at the departure you have here. It's, it's a large, there's, there's a lot going on here. And maybe they were trying to give some of the other characters some time to shine. Hey, you know, Glory is actually here now. So give some time to Gloria, I guess. It, it, the outfit, it, it's weird. It's very weird. <laughs> and I can't get over how weird it is, actually. Plus, I didn't know Miles was that jacked. I'm going to hold this up to the camera because I didn't take a picture of it. Look at the muscles. This little, this little guy here has more muscle than I do. What's that all about? The detail on the mask, I will say that that is very well done. Um, it's hard to, and I've, I've said this before, it's hard to get detail on something that small. And Kenner, while there are some pitfalls with the set. Um, 
have done well with that. All right, so let's get him in. Um, get him in on this side here. Oh, not that side. Oh, this side, this side. The, the back. The, the, the front. What the shit is this? How do you go in? You're going to make a vehicle with a figure in the mask line where you can't even stick the damn thing into the car? I'm missing Billboard Blast right now. And I'm not making that up. I'm thinking about it right now. Billboard Blast, at least you could stick the damn figure in there. Even though he's going to die from asphyxiation, he's still going to be able to do something in it. Is he controlling this with his mind? All right, let's um, let's get down to the light box here, and we'll take a closer look at Wolf Beast and the figures together, and see what's going on here. Okay, so here is Wolf Beast with its figures. It's gonna pan up real quick so you can see. There you go. Nice detail on the front there. We already talked about this figure, so we're gonna, we're gonna slide them out of the way for now. And just give you the detail here. See, that's the kind of the tick thing I was talking about earlier. I don't I don't know what this is, but it's very strange. Cool flame design, but kind of nothing else after that. It's just blue or purple, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, good use of the chrome. Mask is pretty much known for that. Uh, good chrome here. Still good chrome holding up on the tires and on the back here. Uh, for... Uh, for record here, uh, I, I did a quick video on this, and I'm going to superimpose it as I'm talking. Uh, if you have a sticker that is kind of coming off, but not really peeling completely off, what you want to do, and you don't have to do this, and it might not be the best way, but it's what I do for my vehicles, is I have, um, it's called Museum Wax. It's like eight bucks or something like that on Amazon, and it's just... A little bit of wax, uh, you dab it on there, uh, here's the video. It's simple enough, it holds well, um, and I also use this too for figures that I have standing in the glass shelves behind me. Um, it doesn't leave any residue if you wipe it off, so just to you know, use it on their feet, helps them stand, just a, just a tip to help maybe uh, you know, display a little bit better. So let's look at the underneath here. Uh, more detail than you would normally see in an underneath on a vehicle, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, and, well, let's, let's transform it. Now, if you're looking at it, where do you think it's going to be? Sides, back, front, underneath. It's right here. There you go. Pops up. And we'll talk about the bottom part. In a second, we'll go to the top part first. Now, it turns into a, you know, kind of a glider looking thing. And right now, it's not completely accurate, what you would normally see. You've got to flip it over. And there's a button right here that you've got to press after you open these little, little wings up. And this is going to flip up. So now you have the vehicle looking like this. So let's get miles in there just so you can get a accurate representation of how he sits and then, there we go so that's how it sits and that's how it looks but if you're flying it it's kind of weird that's how i guess the perspective is there but uh, i don't know but a cool part about this is is that yes there's a missile on here it's on the front. Very hard to find. I don't know of any customizers that are making them. So if you see one, you might want to get it. It's got a little, little skull on it there. Let's see if I can pull back a little bit. And let's let's see how it fires. How do you think it fires? Push it in. Nope. Buttons. Nope. You push this forward or back. I forget which way, but we're going to find out in a second here. Uh, I believe it's going to be 
backwards and see if I can slow it down so you can see it in action. There we go. And then it reveals two little guns here that kind of move around if you wiggle this. And that's the that's the top part. Not too bad. It's a it's something. <laughs> it's something to say the least. Um, here's the, here's the bottom. Uh, it's a open shell. Uh, it's going to get flipped over. And you got some turret guns here. These, these wheels come out, not come off. They come out to kind of give it a little bit of a wider range so it can still roll around. And then this comes up. And then you stick the clone right here. So then there you bastard. There we go. Perfect. And then you got some pretty wide range of movement here. Um, these are replicas uh, done by the Great Cliff Dagger. Uh, the missiles. Hard to find if you're trying to find them. Let's say about $30 each, give or take. Uh, and these gun turrets are also hard to find too because they pop out pretty easily. And you could pay upwards of like... 60 bucks just for the gun turrets for reference. So let's see if these things still fire. Uh, that side does not. Let me see if it's maybe it's the maybe it's user error. No, it's definitely not firing. What about this side? Let's see. Yep, that one still works. That's good. So you can see that you know pretty good wide range of motion. That's what you got there, and uh, here's the. Here's the top half with it. You know, I, I don't know. It's it's definitely a toy. It's definitely a mask vehicle. I'm sorry you can't see Miles because of his uh, you know, <laughs> it's his his point of view there. But let's put it back together and uh, give it one more look. So all right, you guys, get out of here for a second. And when this is in regular mode, these kind of act as like exhaust ports. It's pretty cool uh, as a muffler. Put the wheels in. Now, I have a question about... Get the missile back in here. Since there's no windows that actually get the figures in, can they actually sit in here like without... Any... I mean, I guess I can just put them in the turret part here. But I don't, I don't think that's gonna, I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, kind of, almost. It almost closes. You can see there's a gap there, but still, I mean that's. Oh, there we go. So yeah, there one one figure can fit inside here. You you just kind of you know go back go back there. I don't know. It's it's hit or miss for me, really. It really is. Um, uh, let me know what you think in the comments of it in general. Uh, there, there's definitely some issues here. So that's Wolf Beast. The scary thing about this is is that you're going to pay right now. 250 to 300 dollars for one of these loose out of the box um i pointed out earlier that these are reproduction missiles here from cliff dagger uh buy one of these by themselves the original it was like 35 bucks i wasn't doing that um so luckily there are elements that work really well with reproduction yeah 350 uh actually 300 to 350 roughly with the box. So I don't know what to tell you on that one. I mean, it's, if you really want to get it to you know, finish your collection, then you have to go for it. The, the figures themselves, the clones and you know, the, the actual figure do not come up often. And when they do, you're looking at about 50 a piece with the mask. You're going to have better luck finding Wolf Beast and the two figures overseas, I mean, the States, so overseas means France, Germany, you know, et cetera, all, you know, 
all those places over there that aren't where I live. So that overseas. I know it's very vague, but hope you get the point. Um, I don't know what the price points will be, but you'll have a better chance of finding them there. I might have to redo my tier list. Wow, okay. Um, so uh, until next time, uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to help keep Mask alive. And this is Bill from matttracker.com, and I'll talk to you later. Spectrum's got such super vision. Nah, 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 nah.